Part 3. Example. They couldn't even wait until the seven days and his vow was up before they tried to kill him again. Take special notice of something. Paul wasn't getting his head split to the white meat because of the name of the anointed one. He was getting his head split wide open because he was teaching people not to do the law, just like the Christians say. Again, please take notice, the people of Asia hated Paul and ratted him out. You know, I've been waiting on you to catch the false prophecy, but you haven't said anything yet, so I will share it with you. Remember, the prophet Agabus told Paul that the Jews were going to bind him and turn him over to the Gentiles. But as we can plainly see, the event happened completely the opposite way. The people left beating Paul. They didn't bind or turn him over to anyone. Furthermore, it was the Romans that bound him with the two chains, not the Jews. If you keep reading, you will see that it was the Romans that turned Paul over to the Jews for trial, the high priest. This can only mean this is a false prophecy. No matter how much you or your elder will try, you can't get around this. But let us not tarry on such small things like false prophecies. We have so much more to expose. Remember a little earlier we learned those in Asia hated and ratted Paul out? Well, let's take a closer look at the book all of you love so much for this next conundrum. I need you to, re to remember all of your NSCI television dramas so we can piece together a crime. Revelations 2, 1 through 2. Quote, until the, until the angel of the church of Ephesus write, Stop. Which can only mean these next words are to an already established church. Let's continue. Quote, These things says he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. This is what he says. I know thy works and thy labors and thy patience and how thou canst not bear them which are evil. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not, and hast found them liars. Example. Okay, the angel said, Mr. Big said, kudos for trying the doctrine of some cats who claim to be apostles, but found them out to be liars. I don't know about you, but my scribe sense tells me Paul and his sidekick are the scumbags we're looking for. Okay, what does NCIS Miami say we're supposed to do next? Check out the crime scene, right? According to Wikipedia under Ephesus, quote, according to estimates, Ephesus had a population of 33,000 to 56,000 people in the Roman period, making it the third largest city of Roman Asia Minor, after Sardis and Alexandra. Example, okay, we got a good lead. Ephesus is in Asia. It doesn't take a real gumshoe to link this Asia hatred and the hatred the thousands who believed in the anointed one and the law in Jerusalem had for Paul. You remember when they heard Paul teach against the law even to the Jews. Okay, what does the detective on SNAP tell us to do next? Go talk to the potential perp. Am I right? I don't know about you, but I'm really feeling good about this collar. And if I can put the bright lights on him during interrogation, you know you done fucked up, right, Paul? You know that, right? You just fucked up. Make him crack under pressure with a confession and perp walk this bastard alias the Gnostic great apostle? You have no other choice but to reject the elders who have beguiled you and turn back to Yah. Why? Because you already have been given the perception of why two-thirds of the sheep 
and all the shepherds will die before Yah's boot camp. That's why. And surely you don't want to be in that number, right? I'm talking cash crap and haven't even waterboarded Paul for a confession yet, huh? Let's check it out, shall we? All right, scumbag. The cameras are off and the sergeant has gone to lunch. It's just you and me. What? Don't hit you. You a Roman? Then tell me what we all want to know. 2 Timothy 1 and 15. Quote, This thou knoweth. Basically he is saying, I know you already heard this, but. Quote, This thou knoweth that all who are in Asia turn away from me, among whom are, which means including, two heathens' names I ain't gonna try to mention. Example, bingo! Paul confessed that all the people told him to kick rocks, to say, quote, turned away from me can only mean they were with him in the beginning. But obviously, the church in Asia, Ephesus, tried his doctrine and told him to scram. This is the second individual time people have turned their backs on Paul as well. The first being Peter and the rest of the Jews, and even Barnabas when certain men came down from Jerusalem from James, and now these clowns. So as you can see, through what you guys consider the scriptures, Everyone was against Paul, including his own folks. If need be, and of course, Yah's will, I will show you beyond a shadow of a doubt. Each and every book attributed to the real apostles were written with the specific meaning of countering Paul's message. All you have to do is read them. They use the exact same analogies Paul uses, but smashes Paul's understanding of it. Question. Don't you find it interesting? Not even a whole tip Hebrew Christian cults read out of the books of James, Peter, 1 John, etc. It's because all of those books are pinpointing and calling Paul a vain man, antichrist, etc. Yes, that's what I said. It's there as plain as day. Yet, either your elders cannot discern it or... They are paid agents of the devil in one way or another. There isn't any wiggle room anymore, people. Just try to get out of these two conundrums. Please leave me who you are affiliated with and your rebuttal. But please understand, you are not rejecting me at all. Because with an entire message of return to y'all, it just got to be good. Please, no Christians. Your onion of deception is too great for a comment section. But wait! Remember me telling you I had a three-edged sword? Well, as soon as you try as you might, but will not succeed in a loophole in these conundrums, because of the severity of the overall crimes, meaning people are dying in their sins believing in what Paul says, you are obligated as little watchmen. Ironic, isn't it? Little watchmen to expose this to everyone you know. I su suggest you exhibit the same or if not more zealotry as you did for Paul. Y'all will know the difference. You no longer have the cover of being deceived. You no longer can push deception under the rug. You must now pick a side. Are you going to return to y'all, or are you going to continue to be light and brush something you nor your elder can erase away? Now you will start to see what it is meant by. They will kill you thinking they are doing their God a service. Welcome to my world. Return to y'all. Checkmate. Thank you for looking at this video. And we'll see about it next.